two cops decided, well, they're going to just rob people. They robbed a lot of them, put up their pictures full mass. You're looking at two criminals who wore a uniform and decided to call themselves police officers. Former East Cleveland officers Willie Warner Sims and his partner Alfonso Cole were sentenced for stealing thousands of dollars over a one year period from drivers they pulled over during traffic stops. Both pleaded guilty to four counts of robbery and one count of theft in office. Sims and Cole robbed six victims between July 2020 and July 2021 and swiped, according to the official record, $14,781. Cole also took two firearms. Sims was sentenced to two years only in prison. Cole will spend two years and six months behind bars and must pay a $40,000 fine. Let's keep their pictures up. First of all, they're only getting two years for armed robbery. Why is it armed robbery? Because they were armed when they did the robbery. They were in their police uniform with all of their weapons. In addition to that, they robbed multiple people. Now, I know the narrative says six and you have a total of 14,000 plus. But the reality is there are many people these individuals robbed who said nothing. For example, people who may have been doing something not so legal, well, they robbed them too. We have one example of a person who was bold enough to say, listen, he robbed me. I didn't want to say anything, judge, because you know, I sell dope. <laughs> but they robbed me. And the judge believed them. Let's put it up. The pair were caught after 21 year old, 21 year old man filed a complaint to the East Cleveland Police Department stating that they took $4,000 from him during a traffic stop at a gas station on July 8th, 2021. The man was on his way to pay for the funeral of his mother. That's according to cleveland.com. Sims and Cole were subsequently arrested the day after the man reported the theft. A year before that incident, Sims stole $3,850 from someone after responding to a call about an altercation at an East Cleveland gas station. He took the money, arrested the victim, and had the victim's car towed. In September 2020, Cole, Officer Cole conducted a traffic stop and stole $850 from the driver and about $400 worth of suspected marijuana. Then he issued the driver a traffic citation that included his signature and a forged signature of a police sergeant who was never at the scene. There's more. Two months later, Sim. Officer Sims took $1,300 from a 34 year old's car during a traffic stop. Sims ordered the victim out of the vehicle. And when the victim returned, he noticed all of his money was gone. The victim told the judge he didn't want to initially report the crime because drugs were also in the car. On July 8, 2021, the same day, Sims and Cole stole $4,000 from the man trying to pay for his mother's funeral expenses. Sims conducted another traffic stop and stole $781 from another person. That victim reported that Sims stopped him, told him to step out of the car. He refused, so Sims quote, rubbed him up a little. According to his statement, Sims placed the victim in the back of his police car. Then ransacked his car, stole the money as well as some of his marijuana edibles. So now the county common pleas judge Michael J. Russo tells Officer Sims that his actions disgraced hardworking officers. The one person that the public should be able to have confidence in would be your emergency services, your police officers, your firefighters, your EMTs, Russo said. You shake the confidence of the public in the criminal justice system and the trust they put in police officers. Russo told Cole during his sentencing that he damaged everybody in the community. When an individual who is a police officer has taken that oath, he in essence is a criminal, is in a criminal category of his own. 
Russo said, he in effect is a traitor to the system. He's far worse than your normal burglar or robber or criminal. Now let me stop to that point, Judge. Judge Russo, I read your sentencing. I agree with everything you said. Except the part where you accepted the DA's recommendation. That's it. You talked the right game here. You said they should be held to a higher standard of accountability. But they're worse than anyone else because of the oath they took. I agree with that sentiment, which means They've robbed multiple individuals, armed robbery. They went on a robbing spree for a year as a team. But they only get two years? Come on, sir. You know good and damn well they should receive way more time than that because I'm sure you have sentenced individuals who did far less and got far more. Um, Sims, Officer Sims apologized, all right? He apologized to his loved ones in court, saying he was sorry for putting myself in this position, end quote. These arrests and convictions stem from a department wide investigation into East Cleveland police as authorities look into allegations of corruption. Police Chief Scott Gardner faces charges connected to fraud, theft, money laundering, and records tampering, crimes that he denies committing. More than a dozen current and former officers with the department also face numerous criminal charges, rotten to the core, rotten to the core. The chief is doing it, sergeants are doing it, commander is doing it. So they're rolling around doing it as if it is legal. Well, it might as well be as accepted within the culture of normality. You don't think anyone else knew that they were stealing? The reason why we know about the six individuals on record is because they had, well, the boldness to report it. What if you actually did have, let's say, a compromised situation? Let's say you were just thankful they did not arrest you for another crime. Or perhaps you just did not want smoke with the East Cleveland Police Department and you allowed them to steal your money. The six people that came forward are the reason why these individuals are behind bars. For two years, slap on the wrist. All right, Jackson, thoughts here. Oh yeah, I mean, you would expect maybe something like 10 to 15 at, yep. at least, you know, like uh, for something like armed robbery, even if it's like a first time offense normally when, when people get hit for it. But uh, you know, th this, they, this is completely egregious, completely arbitrary and on purpose. I mean, they, they, it, I mean, honestly, stealing in general, like robbing people, I understand why people do it if they're down and out and maybe they're very young. And they don't know any better and they're just trying to survive. But these are two fully grown adults who made the decision to do this systematically. It really doesn't get much lower than that. Um, perhaps maybe taking people's lives. Yeah, that, that's definitely a bit worse. But I mean, this is just sick. They don't know who, what the money's for. They don't care what it's for. Uh, it's just theirs because the, and it had to have, in addition to get putting money in their pockets, made them feel like really cool and, and you know bad, like they was real bad or whatever. And now he's up in court talking about some, I'm sorry I put myself in this position. I and mean, you look like a clown because you are one. A civil right. asset forfeiture is a huge issue in this country. And I mean, you know, certainly they should have got more time than two years, but at least they got something. At least, if nothing else, they're embarrassed. Yeah, I guess that's something in this. I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess.